it is still HasLab season for Marvel Legends. Is Giant Man going to make it? You've probably seen all of your second favorite YouTubers talk about it. Now you're going to see your favorite YouTubers talk about it. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. I'm your host, Dakota, here with my co-host, Jordan, and it's time to talk HasLab Giant Man. We are, as of the recording of this, we are eight days away from the closing of the HasLab, mm -hmm. and it's just under 6,000 backers, which means it's about 60% of the way there as we record this. Maybe if uh, this is probably going to come out early in the week, so maybe it's gone up a little bit hopefully is it dead in the water jordan what do you think well i mean there's of course the whole comparisons i was reading something that was pretty interesting like breakdown comparing it to galactus which mm -hmm. you and i had talked about before where a lot of that did fund well, at least the tears like later on yeah but i i think in the grand scheme of things it was not as close yeah. As this one seems to be. I mean, I thought it was all um, funded within the last 10 days. Like Galactus himself and then all the tiers within the last 10 yeah. days. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I guess there's also the factor of the popularity of Galactus versus Giant Man that I yeah. kind of thought about. But but then there's also that thing of, you know, where people like, ah, like what, you know, do I want to spend that much money? And then mm -hmm. as you got closer to it, it's like, oh, screw it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> right. And that was four hundred dollars. Yeah. So. So I think what the article was saying is, which I thought was interesting, was just kind of saying like, you can't necessarily apply the exact same logic since mm -hmm. Giant Man is two hundred. Right. So it's almost like if you were gonna do it, but maybe people are doing, <laughs> doing your uh, holding your out, manipulation making strategy sweat. and making <laughs> making them worry and want to give you some more. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, let me let I, me know in the comments. Are you one yeah. of the folks like me and like Jordan that are making Hasbro sweat until the last couple days to put in your order? Because I mean, if we get five thousand comments that say that that's what they're doing, then you know, not much to worry about. But <laughs> I don't know that that's what that many people are doing. I don't think so either. So it, do you? So even so, knowing that Galactus funded within the last little bit, probably like. Right. The last 10 days, last week. Do you think Giant Man is going to fund Jordan? And is it happening or not? You tell me. Yes or no? Yes or no. Right now. What is it? Woo. Not even the tears, just him himself. Okay. Right. Got a bad feeling it's going to be no, to be honest. Wow. Could you imagine? Are you, are you going yes? I think it's going to fund. I don't know if we're okay. going to get all those tears. Which, if we don't get the tiers, does that make people drop off? And then, I I, I wonder if we're going to see it fund, not f fully all the way unlocked, and then if we see it backslide to not Gets get down. funded. I think that is almost... Okay. Because I don't know. like, And I think it's also weird, too. I don't know how they're counting the backers. Like, does... If a backer orders three giant mans, does that count as a backer? Because I think it does, which seems mm -hmm. weird because it should count yeah. as three giant mans being made. So that's because I know mm -hmm. I've actually heard some people in our comments are saying that they want a giant man to display with all three heads. So they're going to order three mm -hmm. giant mans, which really, I mean, yeah. it's not that expensive compared to Galactus. And I don't think Galactus was like, that much better than giant man is honestly yeah i think i mean well, if i have to choose one of them i'm gonna pay more money for galactus because he's the statement piece he should be the biggest right. i hope they never make anything bigger i don't even like the giant man is as big as he is because right. he's too close to giant or too close to galactus in size let me know that in the comments too because i feel like that's something that people like roast people with my opinion on is they're like oh why don't you cry about it being too big it's like it, it is too big i want him to be smaller yeah. so he scales better with my avengers 
Because yeah. I think even the way they have him displayed at San Diego Comic Con or New York Comic Con right now, it just he's so much bigger than the other figures that are just standing on the table. It's mm-hmm. so like unless you're going to hang some people from the ceiling or get him on like really tall <laughs> flight stands to like kind of yeah. round out around him, he's just he's up here and everybody else is down right. here. Right. Well, like, and and what it does probably cuz like you said with Galactus, like if you have a scene with him like you've done before, mm-hmm. you want him to be like the focal point and like you can yeah. pick out the other characters but your eyes go right to Galactus, right? Whereas yeah. if you have an Avengers display, it's cool to have a big giant man, but it's not like he's the only character that is that matters in that scene, you know? Right. So I do get like even the way you have it behind you now with giant man, mm-hmm. like I think that works pretty well because it's still, he's obviously bigger, right. but it's not like he's the only character you really notice. So yeah. I do understand. And I've noticed that in the pictures too. Whereas I could see that almost having the reverse effect of like, how oh, that almost looks like, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, it's cool to see it in hand, I guess, right. but to also have to realize just the question of do you have the space for that yeah you know? mm-hmm. and i think a lot of people that keep complaining that like they should put a classic wasp or a yellow jacket i don't know i think that's kind of a it's a it's an argument that you can make if you don't think about it too much <laughs> not to say you're dumb if you have that opinion but <laughs> I think it makes so much more sense. And I hope that's how Hasbro does it going forward, which if this fails, they probably won't, but to not lock those figures behind a paywall like that. And then I can say like, Oh, this is only a $200 giant man. I'm going to spend 50 bucks later on those other two figures or whatever they put out with it. If I want them, Yeah. because maybe I don't even care about that wasp. If it's not the costume I want or what Dwight has Mm -hmm. a whole shirt saying wrong costume. So like maybe it's not going to be the right look. Mm-hmm. and then I can make that decision later, but I'm still going to pay the same amount of money, but I don't have to drop it all at once. I don't know why people want to drop all this money at once versus mm-hmm. spread it out. I well, know. I've noticed a lot of people say like, oh, I want that and I want it to be a hundred bucks or, yeah. or 150 bucks. And it's like, Which, well, like, the whole I point think... they made was we didn't do that. So right. it wouldn't be more. Yeah. All right. So maybe that is my, it's, you're not dumb if you think that it should have come with a wasp <laughs> and a, giant man or a whatever but you are if you think it should have cost the same amount of money because that mm-hmm. makes no sense like i i think and even they had i think ryan had kind of walked around um new york comic-con and found a toy biz giant man for sale for 170 mm-hmm. bucks and he was like you could mm-hmm. buy this or you could buy this and it's only 30 dollars more so i think that's pretty smart and i think mm-hmm. it makes a lot of sense i think this giant man is really cool the toy biz one one of the best build of figures ever made. But I do I I would if I could have made this project, I would have shrunk Giant Man down a bit, made him cheaper or add in those extra figures and then make him 200 bucks, but instead of being a what is he? 18 in, or no, he's 24 inches, right? 24, I think. Yeah. Cut 4 inches off or cut 6 inches off of him and put it in a different figure. I would have been happy with that. Right? Yeah. 24, 20. Yeah. Sure. Because, I don't know. Giant, I, or no, eight inches. Yeah. Or like, why 24. would... Yeah. I mean, why does... I, I, I really don't understand the people that are like, oh, Giant Man's not big enough. He can grow to be this big. It's like, yeah, okay, but... Yeah. I, I, he can't be bigger than Galactus. Like, that's... No. Galactus is the cap. Right. So, I do think that Hasbro kind of screwed up in not showing us these figures that we're going to have in the future i think they they messed up in being like oh we, we can do these few figures next year before giant man comes out we can make a classic wasp we can make a classic yellow jacket mm-hmm. so back it and then we'll but then you're just you're still locking the figures behind the the has lab pretty much like right it's like if if he doesn't get funded well and we don't yeah. get a classic wasp next year i think that's going to be really dumb because mm-hmm. if they're planning on it already show us what you got even if it's a digital digital render of those two figures be like these are coming out next year and it's gonna you can get them to go with your giant man show it to yeah. us show us you've got it show us we're gonna get it mm-hmm. and then i think that would have helped their campaign but i don't I, I don't know like this isn't coming up today so maybe tomorrow but 
if they were going to announce it, they would have announced it at New York Comic Con, and they didn't. The those other figures. Yeah. Mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. So I agree, and I I think yeah, people would be more motivated if they either had those figures or mm-hmm. there was the guaranteed promise with a visual of right, like these are coming. So you probably want to get. Because then there will probably be people who maybe want those figures later, but they're like, oh, man, I didn't get Giant Man. You know, so right. it's like you almost needed to arrange that in a way where one supported the other rather mm-hmm. than just Giant Man. But Yeah. Or just show it, more of that stuff. Yeah. Like if there's going to be supporting figures down the line, let us see. Like even if it's like some more scrolls or some mm-hmm. other zombie figures, show us that you're actually going to do it and you're not just going to be like, Oh, giant man did get, get, didn't get funded. So no more yellow jacket. Yeah. Then that just seems shady on their part. So, and I don't, now that you've kind of read more of the comments too, Jordan, I'm wondering what you think about Hasbro itself doing a crowdfunding being I, a billion dollar corporation or whatever they're worth. Yeah. Should they well, be doing I this think- kind of stuff? I feel like we've talked about that before. I don't know if it was last year with Engine of Vengeance, kind of just the concept of mm-hmm. the HasLab, where it it does create like a safety net for them to say, mm-hmm. well, we don't have to produce it necessarily, but we can kind of just gauge, and it's yeah. more like on you guys to be the ones to fund it, which, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I do see. I mean, again, it makes sense for these smaller lines, like Kickstarters and stuff, but it is kind of a weird concept mm-hmm. for like a company that big to be right. doing that. Yeah. But because then it creates that whole thing we talk about where it's like, oh, well, if they try to do it as a has lab and it doesn't work, then it's never going to happen. You know, and it's yeah. almost like you're just kind of trying to create this exclusive item to get mm-hmm. people to do it. So I don't know. But I do. Yeah. Yeah. It, it would be cool to just kind of have it like, hey, we're making these. You can mm-hmm. get them if you want. And even just make um, them in limited quantities. Like, what do they care if it goes right. high on the secondary market? Like, make 5,000 mm-hmm. giant mans. They'll sell out. Yeah. And then they'll go nuts on the aftermarket and Hasbro made their money and, you know, whatever. Then you've got some crazy. But then you're going to mm-hmm. get people that are mad. They're like, oh, why didn't we have enough of these? Or who knows? Maybe they still yeah. go on clearance. I don't know. Or just make them a who Hasbro knows? exclusive. Like then you don't have to worry about that's the one thing i don't understand when they keep talking about like oh we've got to like our retailers going to want to spend the Mm -hmm. like shelf space like don't send them to retailers you have tons of hasbro exclusives don't act Mm -hmm. like it has to go to retailers you're not sending the uh marvel knights wave to retail so Mm -hmm. don't send giant man to retail it doesn't have to be a crowdfund i don't know i'm not necessarily like against the crowdfunding but i understand the people that are Mm -hmm. because it does seem shady for a corporation like that to do that i don't know yeah i've seen i was gonna say i'll wear my eat the rich shirt next episode (laughs) (laughs) yeah well i i have seen more of that commentary which it will be very interesting if they've had two has slabs in a row that was gonna be my next question you think if this one fails are they gonna do another marvel legend has lab because vehicles don't work and now big figures don't work so is this the last HasLab, Jordan, or do we gonna are we gonna see another? <laughs> the end of the at least for the legends, huh? The end I don't of the know. Legends Honestly, HasLab? like if I was them, what are they gonna do? Like they're gonna do Fin Fang Foom next, I would assume, because that's another you know slam dunk like this should have been. <laughs> but then he's gonna be big and probably more yeah. intricate than Giant Man, so it's gonna cost more than two hundred bucks. I almost feel like, and that's. To me, I mean, I know people want it, but that seems like an even more specific yeah, market than yeah. Giant Man. I mean, if yeah, if Giant me. Man can't get funded, are you going to tell me that Fin Fang Foom can get funded? I, folks, let me know in the comments. Giant Man costs two hundred bucks. I'm going to say Fin Fang Foom's got to cost four hundred because it's going to mm-hmm. have wings, tail, longer neck, way more sculpting, and all that stuff. So, if you're passing on Giant Man for two hundred, even if you're buying him. Are you also going to buy Fin Fang Foom for 400 Because I really, it seems like that would make sense to make a HasLab, but I think you're right where it's, that's getting specific. And if mm-hmm. I don't have room to display it, like, it'd be cool to have. I would love to have Fin Fang Foom. 
Yeah. But the real estate that he's going to even just like horizontal, like the, the circular space he's going to have to take up with his wings yeah. and tail. Well, he would just I be tough. Yeah. No matter how you display him, he'll be kind of hard to display. He, he'd have to be so on my I desk. Know, I know. Enough. Yeah. When everyone talks about that, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't get that, but yeah, I don't really get it. I mean, maybe you can hang him from your ceiling flying, but like, mm-hmm. it, it would be super Well, that cool. was, I would love to see it, but I just, it doesn't seem practical. Yeah. Well, that was my thought too. When like we heard, of course, Sentinel, Galactus. Mm-hmm. I remember even after that thinking like, where else are they going to go? Cause you kind of like <laughs> did the yeah. most, you know, uh, obvious and like fan yeah. favorite choices for a giant, mm-hmm. you know, supersized figure. Um, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if the answer would have been to stagger him differently or something, but yeah. Or even just like, I hear, like I, where could you have cut costs on the engine of vengeance to make it actually an affordable price? Like what, what could you have cut to bring it down 50 bucks? Cause I think that would have made a lot of people feel better. Like, did Mm -hmm. you need the gear shifter to move? Did you need whatever? I remember saying that when that came out. (laughs) Like, why? Why do we have all of that tooling? Like, yeah, like that could have been a fixed piece. Did the seat slide? Maybe I don't remember. Yeah, I think I think they did. I don't know if that was maybe to be able to get figures in the back Mm -hmm. seat. But honestly, like, make the back seat impossible (laughs) to get into, and if that saved us money, because nobody really rides with Robbie Reyes. I don't think. Not that I've ever seen. Maybe a passenger but like well i think during covid time he was doing some ubering so (laughs) yeah so well yeah and and i think part of it might be man is like they did the engine of vengeance and i do think whether it's valid or not a lot of people felt kind of uh very turned off to the haslab model Mm -hmm. after that yeah so i mean i don't think it necessarily should have been like oh you did haslab or engine of vengeance for you guys i don't want to fund has labs anymore right. but i think there might be some of that sentiment so there could be that um but it, yeah if definitely if this one doesn't fund i don't know man <laughs> i'm not sure about the <laughs> i agree what their market would be moving forward because that. i think that that's almost their problem is they're like galactus and sentinel worked and i mm-hmm. They did an interview with Marvelicious Toys or Marvelicious News or something like that um, on YouTube. And they had said, like, we we realized that the fans want these kind of mega figures or whatever they said, like, mm-hmm. just huge figures. And I was like, I don't think that's it. Like, yeah, we want them to be yeah. big when it's Galactus and even a Sentinel. Honestly, I would have liked a smaller one, but mm-hmm. I wasn't collecting then, so I don't really have much of a say. But I think if you would have made Giant Man smaller or even just go with like something that's that doesn't need to be a mega figure but make it bigger than your 12 inch figure mm-hmm. and then again i don't know who that necessarily is even if you made fin fang foom like smallish maybe a little bit bigger than the mcfarland dragon mm-hmm. sure it's not to scale like i know he's supposed to be like like a six inch figure should be the size of his eyeball but you're mm-hmm. not going to make that big of a dragon so maybe i don't know just do something different it doesn't need to be huge Make it different. Yeah. Make like an well, accessory. There's only like so a many. Or something. Yeah, there's I don't know. only so many three feet tall figures you can right. display <laughs> before you're like, at, yeah. <laughs> you know what? What and else Even can I with do that with Dio, like, like, even though I say make a Dio, don't give me an X Mansion that's going to be the size of a Barbie Dream House <laughs> that's like going to take up four feet of space. Give me a Detolf shelf. Like, yeah. that's it. Make it super cool. Make it look mm-hmm. whatever. Like, fit three characters in there see how it does i don't know maybe it wouldn't work but i feel like that's going to appeal to almost everybody versus like Mm -hmm. you said we're going to run out of real estate when if we had gotten the engine of vengeance now you've got if you get uh giant man you've got three three foot figures in -hmm. your collection plus a car and what am i going to do next an x jet i'm going to get buried in has labs real quick so yeah yeah, I don't know. Okay, so Jordan. I don't know. When we talked before, you said you're yes. backing it. Are you still backing it? You're just making Hasbro sweat? Or are you getting cold? I, I think I'll back out? I think I think I'll still put an order in as okay. we get near the end. Even but if it doesn't get all the unlocks? I, I didn't really care, honestly, about the unlocks. Sure. I mean they'd be okay, but 
I'm mainly just interested in the, the giant man, of course. So okay. I think I still will put an order in, but at this point, might as well see what happens over the next week or so. Okay. You? I am not Are as you confident. Out? I don't know. I got it's it's challenging because I just put in my uh, I don't know when That's this true. episode's coming out, but I'm, I just put in my legendary uh, order that was two hundred and fifty bucks. Which that mm-hmm. if I've got to spend two hundred bucks on Giant Man or two hundred two hundred bucks on legendary, I'm going with the legendary Seven, figures. Is that eight figures you're getting? Yeah, eight figures. It's fifty dollars more, but you know, I'll Still. take it. That's that's a better. You'll deal probably get opinion. a lot more. Yeah, a lot more things you can do with that than one giant man. So right, and then I'm going to be going to Legion's Con next month. I'd like to have a significant amount of cash to spend there. Mm-hmm. Do I want the two hundred dollar giant? I just don't know, man. It's it's bigger than I wanted it to be. It's not. No. Necessarily, it it wasn't on my like absolutely not. It would if it would have been the same size as Galactus, it would have been a for sure no mm-hmm. for me. I have to get the tape measure back out and see what it's going to look like on the shelves because <laughs> I just, I don't know, man. But then that's the thing is like the, the FOMO is going to get me where it's if Jordan's got it and I don't have it, but do I need it? I got my toy biz. You, you, you just play with, play with final. Once you visit. I'm still on the fence. I, I will say I'm leaning more towards ordering it. I'm not ordering it today. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll see what happens. Maybe if it doesn't fully back with all the tiers, then maybe that'll be my excuse to not back it. But I'll, I'll see. I'm leaning towards getting it, but we'll see. Let me, let me know in the comments. Are you guys getting it? Were you like, for sure, no, for sure, yes, and now you're kind of, oh, I don't know. How are you navigating these tumultuous as lab waters? <laughs> <laughs> these difficult times of toy collecting, which I that is... People, you got to chill out. These are toys. Even if this fawns, you really That's wanted true. it, it's still a toy. If you really don't like this thing, chill out. It's just a toy. Let other people collect the toys they want to collect. Relax, everybody. All right. Chill. I think that's yeah. our chat on the uh, HasLab. Glad you guys got to hear your favorite toy collectors talk about it finally. I'm sure the other ones did okay. We did it best. Stay strong. Stay strong.